go to Wisconsin, where that is exactly playing out. Uh, joining us now, the incumbent in that Senate race, Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin. Uh, thanks very much for being on the show with us this morning. And are you? Good morning. I I'm curious. Do you? Is there any um, challenge to <coughs> separating fact from fiction in terms of the, the health care for voters in your state? Well, first of all, I, what you're describing in Florida is exactly what I've been seeing in Wisconsin. Very strong concerns about all the multiple efforts on the part of the Republicans and the Trump administration to repeal the Affordable Care Act and its protections for people with pre-existing conditions, as well as undermining it through administrative action and in court. And uh, what we have seen uh, is, I think, reflective of what we've seen elsewhere, that every Republican candidate on the ticket has all of a sudden started proclaiming that they're for protecting people with pre-existing conditions with no evidence to be offered. In fact, my opponent, uh, uh, as of yesterday, was still saying she would be the deciding vote to repeal the Affordable Care Act. But of course, somehow she would take care of people with pre-existing conditions. It doesn't stack up, and I think voters in Wisconsin health care voters in particular mm -hmm. have seen through these lies. Well, Senator, are you noticing that? Are you noticing that somebody that may have voted <coughs> against the Affordable Care Act 54, 55 times, uh, somebody that, you know, cheered on Republican efforts to actually join lawsuits to get rid of pre-existing conditions, are you seeing uh, both in polling but also anecdotally when you talk to voters in Wisconsin that they understand that these candidates are lying? that they actually have been I'm enemies sure of, of people with pre-existing conditions and have been trying to wipe out, uh, wipe out any efforts uh, to require insurance companies yes. to provide that care. Yes, and you know, in the case of my opponent and myself in our debates, I brought up at every opportunity the fact that she sided with insurance companies over uh, Wisconsin constituents when she voted to uh, when she did, <clears throat> voted to deny insurance coverage to people who needed oral chemotherapy. She voted to deny insurance coverage for deaf children who needed cochlear implants or hearing aids. She voted in the state legislature to uh, not uh, require insurance companies to cover mental health care. This is, uh, you know, and then she proclaims, of course I'm going to support people mm -hmm. with pre-existing conditions. The record doesn't bear it out. And it really bears out something else that I think is deeply disturbing in this election cycle, which is siding with big, powerful, uh, uh, loud interests over uh, Wisconsinites. I've been uh, the subject of $14 million of super PAC attack ads. Fourteen million dollars over the course of this election. Uh, clearly, they want somebody who's doing their bidding, not somebody who's fighting for the people who sent, uh, in my case, sent me to Washington to protect them and advocate for them. Casey Hunt. Senator Baldwin, good to see you. Um, the, to your see race you. is uh, sort of, let's say, you're, you're farther ahead of your Republican opponent uh, than the governor's race in your state of Wisconsin. And Scott Walker is in the fight of his political life. This is his third run uh, for governor. Of course, he also had that uh, recall. Um, what is it about, what is going on in your home state of Wisconsin that Scott Walker is in so much trouble? Well, I think there's very similar issues playing out in the state races as um, we were just talking about at, in my Senate race. People have discovered that the governor of Wisconsin was the lead uh, with 19 other states in suing to uh, have the Affordable Care Act declared unconstitutional as well as specifically going after the protections for people with pre-existing conditions. In addition, he's one of the many governors who failed to expand Medicaid. Uh, Tony Evers, our Democratic nominee, is pointing that out all the time. And I want a partner in the governor's uh, uh, office in Wisconsin to help me extend health coverage to more and more Wisconsinites, health coverage they can afford. Mm. Senator Tammy Baldwin, thank you very much uh, for being on the show this morning. Good luck to you. Thank you. My pleasure. Up next, it's billionaire versus billionaire in some of the nation's key races, from Florida to Missouri, and on issues from health care to homelessness. That's next on Morning Joe.
Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.